Hey guys, what's going on? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to the 2017 HGTV Dream Home. And today, guys, we're not doing any building because we have ourselves a completed project. So today, we are going to be doing the final tour. The entire house with the interior, exterior, and landscape has been completed. So I'm excited to show you guys the final product today. We're going to just do a quick fly around of the exterior, talk about some things, and then we will go through each of the rooms on the interior. So... Um, 2017 HGTV Dream Home, it was an interesting project. This one was a little bit different than the first two years of me building the HGTV Dream Home, just because this one was more of a recreation, uh, more of a revamp of a house that already existed instead of like a completely new project in real life. So it was kind of like a um, upgraded build, similar to what we're doing with Danville, kind of. So um, that, you know, the house was a little bit different than what you would see from like a, you know, a house from scratch. Uh, like the first two years and I actually really liked this house uh, at first I had a little bit of a hard time wrapping my head around how I was gonna build this thing in terms of like the design on the exterior but after just you know messing with it and figuring things out I was able to come up with something that I think turned out very nice uh, that I'm very happy with so um, this is the exterior of the build obviously I went for a very um, very lush landscape, lots of trees, palm trees. This is a house that is located in Georgia in real life. So obviously there's gonna be some you know, warmer weather trees in that type of climate. So we added some of those in the front yard and the backyard as well. The, uh, the pool area I would say is probably the most extensive of the three HGTV Dream homes that we've done in the past. And the 2016 home is right there and the 2015 home is right there. So we got the whole neighborhood of HGTV Dream homes um, you know, this being the third installment. So let's go ahead and get started here with the interior. We're going to start touring this bad boy. So uh, here is the garage door, and this is the front door. So we're just going to walk right through the front into the front foyer here. So we got a couple of the chairs here, and one thing you're going to notice throughout this build is I actually used banners as some sort of pillow design. This is something that kind of just recently decided to, to implement to these builds. Because uh, I didn't even realize you could actually place banners and they could float through another block, which is fantastic. So it creates a really nice pillow theme and just allows you to add some more color to builds. Um, so you'll get, you're going to see me use a lot of banners and a lot of end rods in this build. Those being two of the newer features here on console Minecraft. So yeah, here's the front foyer. We got a nice vaulted ceiling, little table in the middle that I modified for Minecraft a little bit. And like I said with the banners, you're going to see me using them as wall art throughout this entire build. So uh, what we're going to do is just go straight ahead here into the living room. We have a couple of couches on both sides, and you're going to see me use banners again as some sort of uh, pillow design. We use some green pillows. I think it's just a great feature. Chandelier coming down from the ceiling, coffee table in the middle, and a couple of chairs over here. And then that leads straight back into the pool area, which we'll check out later. Right here is the kitchen. This is what we worked on um, for the last episode of the series in terms of building. So this is a pretty nice kitchen, I think. I thought it turned out pretty good. I do like the theme uh, with the prismarine and the quartz and things like that. I think it's just a good, solid theme for a kitchen. Happy with the way it turned out. So let's go ahead and move back over here. And we're going to check out the dining room, which is probably the most interesting and maybe uh, most different room in the whole house. It's a little bit more of a darker theme. Uh, the coal blocks up against the wall are curtains. And it's just, it's got a gray wallpaper in here. It's got a darker ceiling. I, I think it's got a very nice ambiance. I thought it turned out pretty good in Minecraft as well. So over here, we're gonna basically find the entrance to the laundry room in the garage. We have a closet right here, nice and simple. And then this way is the master suite. We're gonna check out the garage real quick and then we'll loop back around. Here is the laundry room. So pretty simple, self-explanatory. The wallpaper in the real life house was a little bit too crazy, so not really possible for me to replicate in Minecraft, so I just went with a more simple look. And then here is the garage. No cars home right now, but we basically have a couple of uh, closets and then just like a bunch of like tool chests and shelving and things like that. And that door in the middle leads out to a pathway that wraps around the front of the house towards the driveway. So we're gonna move back over here and go inside of the master suite, which is right here. Uh, that is going to be the entrance to the bathroom. We'll check this out first. We built this on an episode. I thought this bathroom turned out fantastic. Love the color design in here. I think light blue is just a great uh, wallpaper choice for bathrooms and uh, for, for pretty much anything in Minecraft. And then we have the toilet room right in here. Shower, bathtub. We have the entire vanity over here with the his and her sink. 
things like that. Tried to add as much decoration into this room as possible. The shower is massive, by the way. That is just, this is this is luxury right here. Fantastic. So let's go ahead and move right across the hall here. And we're going to go into the master closet. Again, another very nice room. One of my favorite rooms in the house as well. Um, just, I like how I use the end rods as coat racks. I think that's a very interesting way to utilize these. And end rods are very versatile. A lot more versatile than I originally thought they were. And they give you the added bonus of adding some light to the room. I know it's always whenever you have a chance to hide light in Minecraft, um, it's always a good thing because you don't want to be like spamming glowstone everywhere. It just it's not that good of a look. But that's uh, where the end rods come into effect very well. So this is the master closet. Let's go ahead and move down the hall here into the master bedrooms. This has got a very blue theme. I think that's pretty obvious. Here is the master bed. Nice large king size bed in Minecraft. Here, this thing is absolutely massive. We have a ceiling fan above that. The light gray wool blocks all up against the wall are supposed to be curtains. And we have some lamps as well on the tables next to the bed. And basically just like a pretty much a set of windows that out, uh, outlook to the, uh, the back porch and balcony area. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. And of course, this door also connects out to the back pool area. So very nice. And we are going to move back over to the center of the house. And then we're going to walk over to, uh, I guess, the right side of the house, if you're looking at it from the front. And we're going to check out some of the rooms that you guys haven't seen me furnish yet. Some of the stuff that I've done off camera. So let's take a look. Starting off here, this is the guest suite. We have ourselves the guest bedroom right here. I used uh, mushroom blocks as the comforter. Very interesting design, but I thought it turned out fantastic. I absolutely love this bed, actually. It's very... Uh, it certainly has a, an exotic look to it, but I think it turned out fantastic. And then, of course, we have a little table there and then a closet in this room for the guest suite. And then here is the guest bedroom, just or a guest bathroom, I should say, not bedroom. Nicely tucked in here. Um, it's got the shower, the toilet, and everything. So I uh, just got to sneak it into that little corner there. And then the last thing we're going to check out is this side of the house includes the home gym as well as the terrace suite. So right here is the home gym. We have a uh, bench press set here. We have some TVs hanging from the ceiling as well as some nice seats there. And then over in here, we have a closet for the home gym. And then we have two passageways through here. That leads into the pool lounge, and this leads into the terrace suite. So we'll go in here first. This is the terrace bedroom. Uh, it's got an interesting design. I used a lot of quartz in here. It had a brighter theme uh, on the actual build, and... This is the bed design that we came up with. And then over here, we have just a, basically a closet inside of there uh, for the suite. And then we have the uh, ensuite bathroom right in here, which is, you know, just nicely tucked in the corner. Um, you know, I had to really fit these bathrooms into a small space because you got to get all three things in there. So it's a full bathroom. So there is your terrace suite. And then we're going to move over here to the last room of the house, the last section of the house, which is the pool lounge. So... Right over here, we have the pool lounge bathroom. This is an interesting bathroom design. It's got a very uh, unorthodox shape, but it's still got everything in here. You know, it's got the sink, it's got the toilet, and it's got the shower. Uh, I want to say that this is a four bedroom, four bathroom house, but I could be wrong. I might have to recount that. Um, and then in here, we have the pool lounge. This is just a, you know, relaxation room, tall ceiling. This is the fireplace of the house. It's got a couch. It's got a couple of chairs here. Just um, try to add as much decoration and detail to it as I could. And it also has a couple of sliding doors that connect out to the pool area. So this is our, a good opportunity for us to walk actually out to the pool area and just kind of wrap up this tour. Uh, here is the pool. It's shaped a little bit like America. If you look at it from above, I have to say, it's kind of funny. We have some pool chairs over here. I used an assortment of unorthodox blocks for the, um, the flooring out here. You know, anything from blocks of coal to andesite to granite, stuff that you wouldn't typically see, but I think it actually works out pretty nicely. And for the most part, I did use almost all the mineral blocks for this build. I mean, the walls are made out of diorite. We have andesite for the pool deck, and then down here we have granite. So we used all three, basically, and then, of course, the coal blocks as well. So with all that being said, guys, I think that about wraps up the tour of the 2017 HDTV Dream Home Recreated Minecraft very happy with this year's installment the way it turned out and the let's build itself and all the support you guys gave all the episodes uh this is one of my favorite series to do every year and i'm already looking forward to doing next year's home hopefully you know when they reveal it you know it's going to be an awesome house for me to recreate and uh we'll just do it again so 
Um, for the third year in a row, guys, thank you so much for watching the HDTV Dream Home Series here on my channel. I really appreciate it. If you guys want to leave a like on this video, that would mean a lot to me as well. And guys, it has been Dan Lax. Hopefully you enjoyed this year's Dream Home. And I will see you guys for 2018's Dream Home next year. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.